Sandberg Elementary is on each of the three proposed school closing plans that the school board will vote on May 2nd. So it's likely this school, which has served three generations, will be no more. Still, parents are being asked to enroll their pre-K and kindergarten children this week. We're proceeding with enrollment as if we plan to be open. If we're not open, that they're, then their enrollment packet will go to the Education Service Center and they'll be placed at a, the next school that's closest to them and available for a pre-K position. Principal Barbara Burke says despite the uncertainty, they are carrying on. Staying focused on state testing, taking care of the children, getting them where they need to be academically and socially, but at the same time, parents have a lot of questions and, and we know that's hard for them. So with so much uncertainty, it makes it difficult. Parent Alicia Evans lives a short distance from the school and she walks her child to pre-K here. Today, she also enrolled her other child in pre-K for next year. Still, she has no idea where her children will be assigned or whether they will even be at the same school. I'm scared. I mean, I don't want them to go into any other school that's what five six seven miles away because I don't trust them being on a school bus with me having to drop them off on a corner. She says she won't be putting her children on a bus that she will drive them adding extra expense for her family. Sandberg is actually very close to Catoosa Public Schools and driving there wouldn't be as expensive but if it does shut down I would like for them to go to Catoosa but from what I hear they're not going to allow outside transfers. Cake snake, that's a rhyming one. The future is also uncertain for pre-K teacher Brenda Walner, who lives very close to where she works. She and other teachers have been told they will have jobs next year, but that's about all they know. Right now, she doesn't even know if she will remain a pre-K teacher, a grade level she loves to teach. I think I will stay as a pre-K teacher, but I'm not, I'm not sure. All I know is I will be somewhere doing something. The school board will soon determine their fate. As many as 17 schools in the Tulsa district could be closed by the board's vote on the proposals before them. For ONR, I'm Liz Exon.